Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to install a, a small GPS tracker to my Phantom 3 here and just I'm going to run through and show you the parts required. Now you can get a GPS tracker such as this little RF V16, rather cheap. I think I paid about $50 for it on eBay, a Canadian at that, so about $35 American uh, you get this little unit. Now as far as I know uh, some people say you need data, you need a data plan, but I tested it out last night and you, I did not need data. I have, I am using the 7-Eleven speak out, uh, pay as you go SIM card with $25 on it. It runs on 2G, you need a 2G, uh, network, which, uh, the 7-Eleven actually runs off the Rogers network and, um, you can add data, I chose not to. I just put $25 on their SIM card. Uh, so it's $10 for SIM card, $25 for the time. And I was able to program this and test it out as well without using any data whatsoever. And uh, it was quite accurate. Um, so yeah, so I, I believe that Rogers is the only carrier that still uses 2G. So whether you use uh, Speak Out or Petro Canada uh, also has a paying as you go. But with the 7 Eleven plan, the $25 that I placed on this, the money that you place on your 7 Eleven SIM card uh, expires in 365 days. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is the only plan available in Canada that doesn't expire in 30 days. So that's that. SIM card goes back here inside this little little slot um, right there so that's that you all this comes with also this little USB uh, charger as well and then of course I bought this 3d printed um, Phantom 3 GPS mount made specifically for the RFV 16 and it comes with a screwdriver and some long screws to replace now uh, put this in uh, you just slide this in like this it is a tight fit but once it's in it's in good oh. it's really tight it's not going anywhere but you're able to still access the sim card your speakers here your power button your your charger port here and uh, there's and you can still get, as I stated, your uh, SIM card port if you needed to. This thing is not coming out. Oh. And you still have your LEDs. So I guess I'll just turn it on. Press and hold the power button. I'm amazed with how loud that is. Um, the blue light and yellow light will blink. Um, and it has signal blue light for um, GPS signal the yellow light for uh, the system signal so That's that so what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this screwdriver and These three long screws you only need two of them Take them out. But I'm going to put this up right here. I'm going to place this on this side of my phantom so lift it up here and there's two screws one here and one here I'll take a picture of those make it uh, a little more clear so you just remove the two other screw inner screws not the outer like that they're very short screws it wouldn't be a bad idea if you had some uh, blue Loctite I guess lying around And this thing just gets placed right over those holes. They it fits amazing. You just put the long screw in, screw it down. Give you another long screw, put it on the other side, like that. Just screw it down.
and that's it. You pick up your screws, a little screwdriver, place it in the bag for safekeeping. Phantom over. There you have it. Very unobtrusive. You can put it in any case. I have a Go Professional case. It sits and fits in perfectly. It's within the legs. So, whatever case that you have, this is not going to obstruct anything. The only thing that this will obstruct is if you do a battery mod, you wanted to put another, make two batteries on it, which uh, I do want to do later on. And I go for some distance. But, uh, that's basically it, and um, once you, I'm not going to go through the programming of this, uh, this unit. There's many videos on YouTube and even uh, RC groups and Phantom pilots that uh, that have like complete walkthroughs. But I will tell you right now that you do not need a data plan whatsoever. At least in Canada or in Ontario, you don't. Uh, it will send you. Uh, GPS coordinates by Google Maps and if it has a good lock it'll send you really 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 uh, good coordinates they're they're very close to where where the unit is I had like I said I had it testing last night I had it in my Jeep on my dash waited 10 15 minutes uh, in the house screwing around typed in looked for their uh, sent it a text and it sent me a text message almost immediately uh, 30 seconds maybe away and uh, it was within feet of uh, where it was. So, and that's it. I hope this uh, video uh, was useful to you guys, and especially the Canadian guys, because it's really a lot of unknowns. Uh, every video that's made is usually made for the American uh, people, and uh, left leaves us Canadians with a couple of a simple unanswered questions like carriers and stuff like that there and 7-Eleven uh, speak out definitely the way to go.